Okay, example four, evaluate x minus y parentheses negative a plus x. So again, our original structure, we have x. I've got a minus sign. Then it says y. Then it's got a bracket, or parentheses, I'm changing to a bracket. I always change my parentheses to brackets. Then I've got a minus sign. I've got a. <coughs> and then I've got plus sign. Then I've got x. Then I'm going to end my bracket. And I create the structure of the original problem using parentheses and or brackets. Replacing all the parentheses with the numerical values, including the sign of each of the numbers. So every x is a negative 2. There's an x here and here. Every y is a positive 3. I'm just going to put 3 instead of a positive 3. It means the same thing. A little bit less to write, so it might be easier to look at. And a is negative 4. So again, this minus sign is part of the structure. A is negative 4, so I end up with minus minus 4 for that piece. Next, I start simplifying as much as I possibly can. The original structure, this has to be evaluated first, that sum or difference has to be multiplied by whatever y is, and that product has to be subtracted from x, right? That's the original structure. I want to keep that structure the same. Minus minus 4 means positive 4. Plus minus 2 means minus 2. That's the group that's being multiplied by a 3 that's being subtracted from a negative 2. Okay, so we start off there. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2, so I'm down to negative 2 minus 3 times 2. Okay, 4 is bigger, so it's positive. There are different signs, that's why I subtracted. At this point, 3 times 2 is 6, and 1 minus makes it negative 6. Minus 2 and minus 6, same sign I add together. Signs of a bigger number is negative, so it's negative 8. Okay, when you get to the addition step again, the bigger number always determines the sign of the answer. It is not two negatives make a positive for addition subtraction. Bigger number determines the sign for addition subtraction.